Well, that was a bit disappointing, wasn't it? Derby County on the road again and unfortunately come away with just a sole point. Never really felt as if we got going today. I think we only had three shots across the course of the entire half, maybe four by the end. And it was just another disappointing display on the road. Now, yes, ultimately, Jerry Yates absolutely on fire recently. Picked up another goal in the first half to equalise to make it 1-1. But realistically, other than that, I don't really think we created anything. I think it was... I'm, I don't have too many qualms with the system... Um, the five that we played, not too many qualms with that. I thought Phillips did enough to keep his place in the previous game. I think, um, obviously, Aaron Cashin, you can't keep him out. Obviously, captain the side today as well. Now, we will get into all of that uh, in just a moment, but make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned for all of my latest Derby County content. Make sure you hit the like button as well to help push this video to brand new audiences and check the link in the description for Kitbag. There's some big sales going on at the moment as we're looking to get ahead to Christmas. So make sure you get all the your Christmas presents that are sporting related down at Kitbag. Sales in the description. Make sure you go and check out the link and you can see what's available over there. Now, obviously... My big problem with Derby County throughout the start of this campaign and a lot of our away fixtures is uh, on the road, we just don't seem to have any sort of attacking impetus. We don't seem to have any sort of style or standard that's going to put us in a position to go and score two or three away from home. Now, yes, we beat Coventry a couple of weeks ago in what was a really good performance and a really good game. I think we did really well that day, but ultimately it just wasn't good enough today and it's okay what we did previously at Coventry but that's the only game we've done it away from home and for me something needs to change in the way we set up away from home we've obviously tried a four we've done a three in the last two I, and I just think today we didn't turn up now was we missing Kenzo in midfield for a little bit of creativity maybe uh, was we missing the likes of Mendes Lang on the left-hand side and Kane and Jackson further forward on the right? I'd probably say yes. I think, um, obviously, Dejon Brown stepping in for a second league start um, of the season. And I'm not going to say he was bad. I don't think he was necessarily bad. I just don't think the team were good today. And obviously, there's a lot to talk about with our away performances because it just seems to be consistently the same way. Obviously, we had uh, the outlier, which was Coventry, where I thought we played a really good game. Ultimately, a lot of the characteristics of the performance at Coventry were the same to the ones today and in previous away fixtures. Be tough in defence, but not create a great deal. And that's something, in my opinion, which needs to be worked on. Now, obviously, the weather we've had this week, I highly doubt they've done many real tactical sessions. Um, it will have probably been mainly indoor stuff, which... Uh, as someone who's worked at Moor Farm or any of you that have been to Moor Farm, you'll know that indoor pitch that Derby has isn't massive. So it'll be hard to work on te on tactical stuff on that. Uh, I'm not saying that they didn't train other days of the week, but obviously that's a big problem. And we knew that the players had some days off because of the international break and stuff. Obviously, we saw Mendes Lang and Kenzo uh, going away, I believe, during Dubai. So it, it's, it is a really difficult one for me because... You look at the performance from a statistical standpoint and it's not awful over the course of the game, but it isn't great in the slightest. Now, if we, if I just read you the stats, we had 48% possession, 0.58 xG, 5 shots, 1 on target, 1 big chance, 244 accurate passes. Uh, if we go to how our shots rank, 2 off target, 1 on target, 2 blocked, 2 inside the box... And three outside the box. Now, here is where my problem comes. Because when you look at the expected goals tab, our expected goals is 0.58. Only 0.17 comes from open play. We were out for and out created in open play by Preston North End, a team who have really struggled uh, so far this season. If we do look at the league table, then if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell. Make sure you check out the links in the description. I've started a football manager save over on my gaming channel. Make sure you go and check that out. There's GTA 5 story mode over there as well. 
obviously football manager save with derby county and obviously make sure to check out my formula one channel if that's something you're interested in all those links will be down in the description make sure you check out kitbag as well some big sales going on over there if you don't check out kitbag today make sure you go and follow me over on twitter for all the latest updates on the sales over there and what you can go and pick up so make sure you hit the subscribe button check the links i'll catch you in the next part of this video they're currently sitting in 20th place on 16 points we're on 20 four points ahead of them but it's interesting for me because I personally think we should have done better today. I personally think that three points should have been what we're walking away with. And I know that people are going to say, if you're not going to win, don't lose. But if you look at the games we've got coming up, Leeds, Burnley, Luton, I think we've got Leeds twice in December. I think we've got Burnley early doors in January as well. We've got West Brom in there somewhere. And it's a really difficult run coming up. So these games that are coming up now, your Prestons, your Swansea's, your Sheffield Wednesdays, which are the next which are now the next two, they're games you need to get points from, especially when you look at the league table. Just a four-point gap. If we go and drop to Burnley and Leeds, we could quite easily be down in the relegation zone, and then the picture for Derby County completely changes. Whereas a win today puts us, uh, what would that have been, seven points clear, six points clear, something like that, of the relegation zone, we're now just five. No, it would have been seven then, yeah. So we're now just five points clear. So... It is quite disappointing not to come away with three points. It's obviously, uh, there's not a great deal you can really do at this point. The game's over, but sometimes I just think we lack attacking output. I think we lack attacking impetus. We've got players like Jerry Yates, Mendez Lang, uh, Tom Barkazen, um, Corey Blackett-Taylor, Kane Wilson. Uh, I don't think Joe Ward was involved today, but I, w I really want to understand what's going on with that situation. Is he injured again? What is going on? Um it's just a difficult, difficult situation because I think we've got some really good players. I just don't think they're being utilised to their strengths. Mendes Lang has been playing out on the left and I know Paul Warren doesn't like it when Dom Dietrich or Ed Dawes asks him that sort of question. But the fact of the matter is, his best performances have come out wide but have mainly come on that right-hand side playing ahead of Ryan Niambi or Kane Wilson or whoever's on that right-hand side. And Ultimately, do I think Caden Jackson's come in and done enough to really force Mendes Lang to the side? That is where there's a little bit of a debate, in my opinion. And I do think Caden Jackson's been good. I do think Mendes Lang has had his moments. But ultimately, I think when it comes to an attacking standpoint, I think across the course of this season, I think we've been very sort of hit and miss across the course of games. You go to the Plymouth game. Uh, if we'd have played them earlier on in the season, we'd have battered them in my personal opinion, because um, we took every chance at home. That was just the way we played when we was at home. We seemed to take every single chance. And ultimately, it seemed to have changed a little bit over the course of recent weeks. Now, obviously, you can let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'm always intrigued to hear what you guys have to say uh, about this situation. And it is a very... It's unfathomable. I don't even know if that's the right word when talking about Derby, because... Our away form has always been an issue in my like from my time that I can remember. Obviously, last season we had an unbelievable away record, which obviously distorts reality because what people need to take from that away record is it was done in a division lower than we've been in for 12-odd years up until that point, 12, 13 years up until that point. And ultimately, it was it's a great record to have, but now let's do it in the championship. Let's go and pick up however many wins what was it 10 wins away from home um this season like but we're not going to do that it's going to be very difficult to do that obviously there's much better sides in this division which is kind of the point i'm trying to make is that we don't get the set like i think a lot of people ignore the context of what is actually gone on with the team and stuff like that and that's obviously something which will probably be addressed over the course of the next few weeks with the squad and stuff like that obviously we're what a month and a week away from the January window opening. I personally believe that Derby County have to do some business. You can obviously let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments. I made a video about it yesterday. Um, and yeah, ultimately, it is just guesswork. It is just ideas, opinions. But that's all we really have in football. Obviously, some people have an inside source, some people don't. And for me, there's a lot more that needs to be done for Derby County. A lot more that needs to be done on the away form you have not done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on that notification bell let me know your thoughts down in the comments and i'll catch you in my next video